And then his dog, his dog is out here and Pete's out here honking horn on the truck. <laughs> Hang on. See him, he's seen him right there in the truck. He's honking the horn. He's sitting here. <laughs> See? <laughs> Honky. No, that dog is crazy, man. This is the uh, Knoxby River right here. It's already up, going across the road. You can actually see the road under the water right there. We're on for an adventure today. Jason is right ahead of me right now. And uh, this is liable to come up on us while we're, uh, while we're in here, doing what we got to do. And if it does, we're going to have to go around the world to get back out of here. Which that just adds to the adventure, you know what I mean? So that'll be cool. Man, that's a field right there, but it's a lake right now. And that water's going to be deep out there, isn't it? Because it, this road drops off over here on the right. He's running across that road right back there. There's a bunch of people who live right up here around this uh, curve right here too. I mean, but that's just a giant lake right now. I'm still, I'm just a little ways from being there now. <laughs> it is raining, holy cow. Right now in our area, you cannot get off a hard road like this right here in a tr pickup truck or anything. If you do, you will be stuck big time. actually filled this in with some uh looks like some ground up asphalt right there well if it'll just be light like it is in there, right now it'll be pretty nice on me and jason likes to open his own gates so I don't even have to get off to open them or shut them so that's that's a good thing show ain't never offered well they give me the key I'll get them I'll I'll get them. Get them. I know. right over 
fire show we normally come through at. Dude, that's gonna be some water in that swag up here. In that, in that low spot. Might have sure brought my boat. We might have been better off. <laughs> that hog's probably sitting there thinking, just get a little bit deeper and I'm gonna be able to get out of here. That water hog the other day is what made these ruts. That is 10,000 pounds yeah. of bacon on there. We got, uh, we're going into the abyss now. I'm actually surprised there's not more water right here than what it is. I, I figured this was gonna be flooded all the way. Yeah, it'd be funny if we ended up about a six foot deep hole right here. That's pretty deep. Water right there. I think this is the last one of that room that I yeah. the one I missed. That jugger's in there running around. Uh, I get it. Uh, <laughs> There you go. But get yourself positioned just right now. I don't want you to get wet, none, okay? I'm not. I'm All right. So there this is actually what Jason is seeing on his phone when he's sitting at his house or wherever he's at. He's sitting there. The thing goes off. It alerts him. He's sitting there watching the hog or a bunch of hogs. And this in here, you see, it says drop trap. Pulls up right there. He tells it to drop it. And then it's just a matter, just a delay there till it drops down. And then the pig is in there and... It can't go anywhere. Just go around and around there, and that's that's about it. So enjoy the rest go of this video. It, man. If you bust your tail, I'm gonna put it in slow motion like ten different times, and I'm gonna send I'm gonna send it to Brian too, and he can use it on all the social media outlets. It's fairly it's deeper than what you think it is, ain't it? Man, that zip tie, I mean, it's ticket. That's the one that always got lost. The short one, yeah. But it's there now. You see the mud all the way up here where they've gotten all the way up against with their noses right there where they've hit that jump ring? Yeah, that jump ring is ticket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got mud all the way around it. So this is about some redneck engineering on these traps, but it works, though, don't it? <laughs> He hooks it right there, and then he, when he winches it, it picks the whole thing. Gotta do some adjusting. Turn the table a little bit. Let's see, that side usually quits, and I gotta adjust. So oh, it's not pulling up even then. I need to make it longer that way, I think. I get bass after doing this sometimes. I see, so it's just one cable they got going through there then. Slide it just a little bit. <laughs> I tell you what, they could actually refine these traps pretty easy. Because, I mean, that thing just got washer stacked in between those pulleys right there. Yeah. Cause every drop of rain that hits me, my my fee gets higher and higher and higher. That's all. It, it be, I'll cut you some slack. Cause it, it gets busy when I catch a bunch of them. Yeah. It, when he calls me, I want to go. I want to go. <laughs> well, it uh, it it's beats. Hang on, hang on. That side over ain't picking it's up. Coming. Oh, is it? There it goes. It beats sitting at the house though on a day like today. Man, y'all talking about some nasty stuff. Y'all see all this corn right here on the on the ground, sired. Oh my gosh. They like it. What about the coons? You been having many coons come in here? Man, hundreds of them. Well, as soon as we need to put some dog proofs out. Deer season's over, <laughs> I'm talking about they monsters. They nearly big as this Oh yeah. Oh, I, I guarantee you. All right, we're gonna try this tool this morning too, right here. This hay hook right here. Catch him there. 
he's resetting it now. We got more corn back here too to rebait it with and to bait the other trap. The other trap, you got two traps here. They ain't but about 100 yards apart is all. And this makes number 101 hogs that he's caught since October in the same spots. Same two spots. Ain't even spot. moved the trap. You know, we caught a few over to other places. Right. It wasn't enough So he's got to pull that other cable and catch this uh, other, that 90 right there on top. And, uh, and then it'll be, he'll let that boat winch off. Yeah, I got to adjust it again. I got to move that cable one day. I ain't doing it today. Yeah. It's actually up pretty level. It is. But Do you uh, need to pull that uh that power wire? Right. You need to pull that power wire up underneath that winch right there. Is... All right, there you go. I got a, I got a lid off on this one. Yeah, until I get this cable back adjusted right. Yeah, I, I see what's going on now. That big a deal, but yeah. just kind of got out of that. Never touched the hog. Like that worked. Worked a lot better another day. <laughs> yes. That worked oh. well. He's going to bait her back up. So here's what's so crazy about this thing, too, is... uh. As soon as we drive off, he'll start having deer come in here. Yeah. All right, so the way this thing works is solar panel right there. And uh, inside there is a 12 volt battery, marine battery. And here's the camera right here. So the thing about this camera is it's streaming. It streams back to Jason right there. They got a booster in it, obviously, because it's a real weak signal area right here. So it streams back and got a, uh, a light right there, no glow light on it where you can see it. So what happens is, is Jason is sitting at home in his underwear uh, doing god only knows what and his, his phone goes off when the movement gets in there and the pigs get in there and once they get in there then he's watching them he's actually sitting there watching them and so he tells that thing to drop to drop the trap and it sends a signal back to to the camera and stuff right here and then it comes back through this wire up to that uh latch right there that square silver latch and it lets that Undoes that latch and the whole trap hits the ground right here and they're caught. Nothing to it. Effective. Because that's uh, number 101 that he's caught. You couldn't have done that with dogs or a rifle or nothing and been that effective like that. Because those, tra well, those traps are what, 70 to 7,500 a piece? Yeah. 7,500 a piece. And you've done, can you imagine the, if you did the math? on what a what a say a hundred pound pig eats in a day you just freed up a lot of groceries right there well <clears throat> that pile i was streaming last night that's the cool thing about it i had i put 100 pounds there yesterday yeah and you see how much and they ate it yeah but it wasn't but one pig come through there last night at three o'clock yeah he ate nearly 100 pounds <clears throat> of course the coons and stuff but they're, they're, I mean, it costs cost to do it, but we're saving. I mean, we're saving lots, lots of groceries. And so, uh, all right, so this came up right here. This area right here, I'm not going to tell the acreage or anything, but this this area right here don't even I don't belong, y'all. This is just a, I'd say this is a very small lease piece of property that you got. Very small. Right. And we can't quite figure out where all the hogs are coming from right now. 
Yeah. But I mean, they're just traveling through here. I mean, just. Oh, we've had this little spot for years and it, they just travel. And y'all see it ain't nothing but pine. Nasty. It's, it's thick, good gracious, it's thick right here. So, I don't know, it's a, the deer like it, hogs like it. There's no fields in here? No the, the, Just a road. Just a road. Just bare, there's, one, there's a couple spots where you can make a, a circle with a ranger and that's it. That's it. That is it. Other than that, this is it. There's nothing, no field, no nothing right around here. It's got to be the river or something, I don't know. They're hungry right now. Yeah. They looking for, yep. looking for food, the deer and everything. So now we got 15 miles of riding to get back out of here, dude, for one pig. <laughs> yeah, that one pig saved up. He ate enough groceries for <laughs> yeah. 20 deer. That's right. Yeah, got that done. Then we'll head back toward the house and uh, change some clothes. I did good so I was dragging that hog out of there and I got it so snout up against my britches and got uh Got my britches right above my knee, all bloodied up. Oh, uh, good news. I got errands to run, things like that. And I guarantee you, Jason will drop the trap again tonight, if not one, both of them, because the water's coming up. That's going to push them, going to push them around pretty bad. And uh, I guarantee he, he's allowed to have eight or ten in the morning there. And if that's the case, we'll come back down here and, and get them up and get them. Look at this water. This has gotten worse since I uh, come in here. It's wasn't that bad. It's washing that rock out that they just filled in right there. So we'll come back and get them. I was real happy with the CCI stingers. I was shooting some subsonic CCIs out of it and they were like a thousand forty feet per second which is like i said they're subsonic so i went to the stingers and they're like 1640 or something like that i forget they're they're pretty hot and a big difference that worked a lot better than the other day when we were shooting them hogs and got that done but i may take y'all along kind of through the rest of the day with me here as we're going we're y'all gonna get to see some more water up here in a minute some more water right there We're almost up here where the river is. You can see all the water out there. Those are, that's what I filmed this morning coming in. It's like a giant lake. Those are farm fields that are underwater. Get up here, it'll be, they'll, they'll be, it'll be serious up here when we get up here now. Places like this, though, is where the animals are, man, where the deer, big deer live. That's what it's all about. I mean, it's a little spot right here. This ain't going to be nothing to it. When we get up here by these bridges, it's going to be bad. And that's the first bridge. You can see all the water. It's about like it was while ago when we come through. It ain't too bad. like it was cutting it right there a little bit, but it wasn't. I ain't been down here none, except when I'm down here, he's full of crap. Look at that good of that joker right there. Got a lot invested in that. I know. Oh, it's a tempting man. You're there. Jason ain't got no room to talk. He, I got a sausage cheese ball and an apple fritter. And he's getting two sausage cheese balls. Look at him. Had to put them in the big microwave to heat them up, man. Look at him. 
And then his dog, his dog is out here, Pete's out here honking horn on the truck. <laughs> Hang on, see him, he's seen right there in the truck. He's honking the horn. He's sitting here. <laughs> see him? Honking. That dog, that dog's crazy, man. What he's doing when he's running backwards to the back seat, he's hitting the... <laughs> <laughs> so, Pete, man, he's cracking me up. Uh, <laughs> but Jason and I were in there, and the horn kept honking, and Jason bumped me. He said, man, he said, that's that's Pete doing it out there. And I was like, are you serious? He said, yes, that's, that's, that's Pete. People were looking around in the, cause there were several people in the bakery in there and they, they were looking around, you know, trying to figure out what was going on. And Jason was wanting to, wanting to crawl under a table. And, uh, just a hoot, man, just a hoot. Always a, always a good time. We got, uh, we got another good haul video. We've got one where we move the trap to. They'll be put out, uh, later on just uh some more good stuff out there in the pouring rain again i mean it just it just seems like it just won't quit raining around here or something but uh just a couple updates i had another some of y'all seen it on instagram if you're not following me on instagram it's cotton top three there also and uh had another two huge boxes came in from uh, milwaukee tools today and I, I wasn't expecting them but it was more safety gear a lot more stuff and filmed all that, Jill filmed, Jill filmed it. We had a good time doing that. So uh, be looking for giveaways on that uh, coming up in the, in the near future. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it because I've got so much stuff, it's, it's nuts to give away. There's a lot of people that comment on this uh, sweatshirt here, this Ware County, that's Ware County, Georgia over there. Uh, I'm not affiliated with, I'm not a fireman or anything like that. I have, I have a lot of firemen and a lot of, uh, police and, um, deputies and even highway patrols who watch my stuff. And so I've had a lot of different things from different people sent to me, but the, I like the, I never liked sweatshirts ever, but for some reason I've kind of, uh, the last couple of years I've had these sent to me and I wear them. I wear this Ware County one a good bit. And Apple Mike sent me one where he is too. So don't flood me out with sweatshirts or anything, you know, but, um, so that's the deal on that. But, uh, upcoming stuff, uh, Jill and I at the end of February, we will be in Eugene, Oregon with Rodebeck at the Oregon Loggers Conference there. So if you're anywhere in that area, we're going to have, we're going to ship merchandise, uh, up there to Eugene and uh, we're going to be there. It's a three day show. We'll be there all three days. So if you're in that area, uh, here's your chance right here. Come by, come by the Rotobeck booth. I'll get the number of the Rotobeck booth. I need to email the lady over there and uh, get it and I'll go ahead and give it out. But it uh, should be a, a very cool deal. So appreciate all y'all uh, watching the video uh, with Jason. We've had a blast this time. Uh, we've talked about a ton, a ton of stuff um, down the pipe to go along. Uh, one thing that we're probably going to do as the racing season goes and it goes to traveling, one or two of the bigger races, I'm going to go along with him and I'm going to have my merchandise and his merchandise and we'll be there together in the pits. And so the race fans are there. That'll be, that, that'll be, that'll be really cool to, uh, come by and shake hands and, and all that kind of stuff like that. So we're moving closer to 80,000. Remember what I said? I hit a hundred thousand. I'm going to do a giveaway, a fan giveaway, um, to come here. All you got to do is get your tail here and then I'm going to take care of everything else. Uh, like you to get here on a Thursday, Thursday night. You spend a day with us in the woods all day that Friday. And then uh, watching us run and hanging out with, with all of us, me, Kevin, and Derek, and Chad in the woods. And then uh, I'm going to take care of all your meals. I'm going to take care of your hotel and all that stuff. I'm gonna, that's all me. I'm going to take care of it. And then Saturday is your day. Whatever you want to do, if you want to ride on our property, on my Ranger, um, 
and then we'll let two two people so if it's a you know husband and wife boyfriend girlfriend whatever two friends whatever i don't care um if you want to play with chainsaws run the mini my tractor whatever you want to do i'm gonna bring here to the house too so uh just whatever whatever your heart desires so uh if you would subscribe to me, I'd appreciate it. Give me the thumbs up down there too. Uh, things have been going very well. So appreciate all y'all, all the clickable stuff's right down below. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.